We had a close bond. Yes, um, he, he was like my first baby. The other day, I was um, reminding him and telling him about the things I used to do with him when he was small and he was laughing and it's, it's just good memories that I have from him. Uh, like what I told my mom, be comforted by the life he lived. This morning, we met Noah Mora's family preparing for his wake at their Roaring Creek residence. Arlene Morrow, Noah's only sister, spoke with us off camera. She says Noah and his girlfriend of 10 years were in Hopkins for the weekend, celebrating their anniversary. According to his girlfriend, he just wanted to go out and enjoy himself. He just wanted to dance with her. Yes, yeah, so that was what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately, he met his death there. She gave us further insight into what transpired inside the nightclub prior to the shooting. She confirmed that there was indeed a brief altercation between her deceased brother and the gunmen. But according to Arlene, that only happened after no one noticed that the men were continuously making unwanted passes at his girlfriend and he became concerned for her well-being. That is what we are understanding, that one of the guys... Um, came up, approached his girlfriend and was offering her drinks and she declined. And then the three men actually came closer to her and passing comments to her and that was when he saw that happening and went to check and he was like, babe, you okay? And things like that, yes. But Initially, it's not like he approached the men. He was checking on her well-being and safety. The three men would leave the nightclub at that point and later return to carry out a brazen act of indiscriminate bloodshed. The girlfriend told the Moro family that Noah used his body to shield her from the spray of bullets. She remained traumatized after witnessing the deadly mayhem. She is not in the best of state. She is still traumatized. She is still processing what happened. She is traumatized. She made comments like, Arles, I cannot do this. I cannot live without Noah. Noah, she said Noah was her whole world. Yes. So I like what I told her. She will always be my sister. And we will always be her, here for her, no matter what. She mentioned that when the incident happened, like, there wasn't that help. The help was not there from the people in general. Rather, people pull out their phone and were videoing while she and my niece were trying to make sure that he was okay at the time. Noah's eldest sibling, Aldan Moro, says the family is grateful that the alleged gunmen are now in police custody. As an older brother, he is in rue over not being inside the nightclub that morning to protect his little brother. We as a family, we, we would have won. I think we deserve a, a very good investigation in regards to this matter, you know, because it could have been worse, you know, we have to give the police the credit for where they move and uh, apprehend me, you know, before anybody else get hurt, you know. But in regards to at the club, that me really uncalled for. Deep down, really and truly, I, I barely even got words to express my situation. I wish I was there with, with my little brother, you know, because anybody know my brother, anybody know we, we that love. We don't trouble nobody, man, you know. And let's rip up the family, like really rip we up, you know. And we just have to try to be with it. Left everything in our God's hands, you know. He lived an exemplary life. The love and support that we have been receiving 
and the sentiments that people are sharing about him it's priceless it's all good only good things yes yeah, so i am very satisfied with the life he lived reporting for news 5 i am paul lopez